Hello and welcome to Cool Geophysics with Blueback Reservoir. In this example we're going to look at a toolbox tool called Making Points from Seismic and we're going to use this to create a, a pseudo 3D seismic. So the Make Points from Seismic tool is a really simple tool to let you convert seismic data into a portrayal point set. Uh, and this can seem quite ordinary but this of course then opens up many other operations in portrayal and toolbox and GDI uh, which you can then use this point set into many different processes. Uh, one workflow which is frequently asked about is using points extracted from 2D seismic and creating a 3D cube uh, from that and this is what I'm going to show in this example. So we're going to look at converting some 2D seismic attributes into a 3D space. Uh, it's also worthwhile mentioning that um, the toolbox has the sort of converse operation, you can make a cube from a set of points in the other direction. So what we're going to do is take our 2D lines, create a set of points, scale them up into a model and then create a 3D seismic. And this is a typical uh, toolbox sto story where we use part of the toolbox to do one part of the operation and then Petrel to help us with the, with the rest. So the workflow for this is fairly straightforward. First of all we use the toolbox to make a point set for each seismic line. We append all these point sets together using operations. We upscale this point set, then we run it through the petrophysical modeling. This creates a geocellular model of our seismic point set and then finally we convert this model back to uh, 3D seismic. So let's take a look at how this works in Petrel. So the first thing to show is my 2D lines here. So I've created uh, some seismic attributes for my 2D lines in this area and I want to create um, a kind of 3D space between the lines so I can get a sort of best guess about what's going on. So the first part in this process is to open the toolbox and select the tool make points from seismic. Um, let's choose my first line in my survey. I can constrain this between a top and a base uh, horizon or surface. Uh, I can then give it an output, let's call it point set one press apply and then I have to repeat this for each line so let's say for line 2 call it point set 2 etc etc until I've created a point set for each of my lines here then from inside Petrel you must use a operation under point set so if I choose the point set and then operations tab under common operations we see one called append points with attributes and if I click on this one I can then, for example, take my second point set and add it to the first. So if I then show the spreadsheet here, we can see all the x, y, z values and then a time attribute for a huge number of points. So you must uh, repeat that for each of the lines and append them until you get one uh, collected point set, which looks something like this for my lines. And we can then use that in uh, various processes in Petrel, uh, in this case we're going to scale it up into a property. So I've created a very simple um, model here just using the create simple grid which you can find under utilities, make simple grid and I've just created a number of horizons, the model doesn't have any faults and it's uh, fairly simple. So the next step in the process is to upscale this property. So if I double click on scale up well logs, instead of choosing well logs as an input I can choose point attributes and here I'm going to choose my combined point set and choose seismic time, press apply. That creates an upscaled uh, point set of my attributes. I can then use this in my petrophysical modeling so here we can see my seismic time um, and I can uh, run this through the petrophysical modeling to scale it up into my geological model. Um, I've done that already, I can show you the results here. Seismic time. And here you see my upscaled seismic time attribute. Uh, the final step is to push it back to a seismic cube, maybe for comparison with the 2D lines. So that can be done by clicking on the properties and then uh, sorry on the individual property itself then under operations you can see make 
seismic cube. I then have to choose a 3D seismic as my to give it a geometry. So I'll choose this seismic here, press interpolate, and then click run. Uh, once again, I've already done this. I'll open a new 3D window, and I can choose my 3D seismic uh, cube here. And we can see that I've upscaled these properties into a 3D space from the 2D line. So once again, thanks for listening, and please give this a try and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks.